I believe we are ready. Let us go! We are ready for the cloud of darkness. I am ready. I hope you guys are as well. Yeah, let's go. Th this looks very cloud-like. We are ready for you, cloud of darkness. Come for us. We are the cloud of darkness. None shall stand before the flood of darkness. With it, we will bring the void to this world. And your light world of light as well. We won't let you. Not if we have anything to say about it. Right. Everybody just nod. That's cool. This is the world of darkness. You cannot defeat me with only the power of light. Warrior of the dark. What? Where do you come from? That is why we are here. And all four of the warriors of the dark that we had saved, I guess, before from the crystals are here. The hopes of light and darkness now unite. We shall not let the void reign free. And then they charge right into... Oh, that's got a smart. They charge right into the cloud. Oh, Blue does not like what he sees. You are trying my patience. You may have destroyed the dark crystals, but that is of no consequence. We will devour your power of light and use it to return this world to the void. Come at me, bro. And now it's final boss time. First off, you may wonder why I put Abel in the back row. It's because I'm going to have him throw shit. You're going to be mad at what I'm going to have him throw. First, I'm going to have him throw the ultimate weapon <laughs> at the tentacle. He can't equip it. There's no point in me keeping it. You know, I don't get to carry this stuff with me. It's the end of the game. Might as well use it while I can. And then everybody else is going to focus on, on the Cloud of Darkness. Uh, let's see. Can we do Protect on everybody? No. So I'm going to put it on second because he's still technically in the front row. Uh, you go ahead and boost, and we're going to hit the left tentacle. That's what we're focusing on now first with our physical attacks. Go! Ultimate weapon for max damage. Nicely done. But yeah, there's no point in me keeping it, so I might as well use it. Uh, I know the shurikens are designed to throw, uh, you know, but don't worry. Don't worry, I will, I will show off how those weapons actually are used normally in battle at some other point. Go protect! And, okay, this... This bitch, she gets four attacks in. Each of the tentacles gets an attack, and then she gets two personally. It sucks. Uh, I, I guess it's supposed to be even, you know, four versus four. But really, that's not cool. Let's, uh, what is it? Let's throw a Kotetsu at the, at the tentacle. You go ahead and use Flare on the Cloud of Darkness. Go ahead and, uh, why not Kiraja, everybody, just in case. You go ahead and take... Uh, this should take out the tentacle. If not, then we can start, you know, going for uh, for the Cloud of Darkness after that one's gone. Because that the other one, I'm not too concerned about that one on the right. I want to take out the one on the left. Really? Still doesn't even do max damage. I threw a Kotetsu, man. That was one of the best weapons in the game. Full heal for everybody. And, yeah, okay. Uh, nothing too bad. Go, Flare! The Cloud of Darkness has 120,000 HP. We are not even close to being finished with this. Uh, throw... Let's throw another Kotetsu at that tentacle. We want it to die. <laughs> we want it so very much to die. Go, Kiraja. You go ahead and take on that tentacle again. Throw the tentacle! Make it go away! It does! Down goes the tentacle! We're gonna leave the other one there, because the other one tends to spam an attack that is useless against us, and this is it! Bad breath! Fortunately, since we have... Uh, don't... Please don't hit Abel. Please don't hit Abel. Thank you! Because we have a, rib a ribbon on everybody, uh, the bad breath attack does, does nothing. Oh, max damage on Flare. Nicely done. Alright, it's time for a round. I I've lost count. Alright, wh what else can we throw here? Where are those, uh... Where are those shurikens? 
I mean, there we go. I got five of them. Let's throw one at the, the Cloud of Darkness. You use Flare at the Cloud of Darkness. You cure just in case, just in case, and you attack the Cloud of Darkness. And yeah, I should have enough weapons to throw. Really? Really? You missed with the shuriken, the thing that's designed to throw. You're a freaking ninja, man. You gotta hit with that shit. So, we're still doing a lot of Oh, here we go. Particle Beam. This is the one that wiped us out last time. It's not gonna wipe us out this time, but it still does a shit ton of damage, which is why I have Kiraja going every turn, just in case the Cloud of Darkness uses that specific ability. I hate that one. I hate that one with a passion. Let's go ahead and throw another Shuriken. Cloud of Darkness, please hit this time. That'd be greatly appreciated. Go ahead and use Flare again. Uh, use Kiraja again. You attack. You never know when that particle beam is going to come. There we go. Max damage again. So, you know, you do the math here. The, the quickest you can get her dead. If you never heal, never do anything except attack her and attack at max um, at maximum damage with 120 h 120,000 HP, 10,000 each would be 120. Uh, sorry, uh, 10,000 each turn, so 40,000. You can technically do it in five turns. Um, whether or not I'm, you know, I'm never going to be able to do that unless, well, I start cheating. To be honest with you, we'll see. We'll see. Five turns would be the, the minimum you could do to beat her because you can't break the 10,000. There we go. I've heard of ways to do it. You know, if you hack the game, then you can do it in less, but I'm not willing to go through that kind of effort to defeat the Cloud of Darkness. Go Shuriken! Oh, we've got to be getting pretty close here, though. Now that I think about it, go! Bad breath, okay. Please, please don't use Particle Beam. Please don't use Particle... Oh, Kiraja! Go! Thank you! I was worried because the tentacle went that the Cloud of Darkness would get its turn, but they have separate turns, which is always nice. Go, Bio! Because I am out of flares. Here's another particle beam. Damn you. Damn, it does so much damage. And then, of course, she comes in with another attack afterwards, so if, if you almost died from from the particle beam. She just swipes at you to finish the job sometime. Alright, what do we got? Uh, I don't know how quick does. I'm gonna try it. Because the bio... It's it's doing decent damage, but I would love to do more damage. Another max damage hit with a shuriken. We are getting there. We are getting there. Down goes the cloud of darkness, and we have beaten Final Fantasy 3! Nicely done, party. We get 79,000 gil? What? what? 37,499 experience. A level up for Abel. What? Why would we get that? Ah, oh, but now it's time for the ending cutscene. In the beginning there was the void, then there was light and darkness, and then everything was born. The sky, the land, water, and fire, fire and life. Time flows to bring them all back from whence they came. But life gave birth to something unique, a shining force that divided the light and darkness and illuminated the world. A force called hope. A time will come again when the balance between light and darkness is broken and four will be chosen to restore it. Do not forget that what gives the four their power is hope. Hope inside each and every living being in the world. Dreams, despair, love, time will consume all. But you must not accept it. You must fight it. You must find the power within to prevail. You must find the one last speck of light, the one feeble glitter that will illuminate all, the light of hope. And 
we're back! We have made it! Everyone! Hooray! Abel, Novin, Blue, and Sackman! I knew you could do it! By the heavens, you've done it! Ho ho ho! I had no doubt you would succeed! Man, you guys are something! Hells yeah! Look at that pose that Bloon's doing. Hell yeah, we kicked that cloud's ass. Do you know how hard it is to kick a cloud's ass? You guys don't know. Let's go. It's time to go home. I was about to say, are you going to let me control it? No. No, they're not. So we leave on the Invincible, our flying fortress. And there's everybody. Thanks, Gramps. Glad to be of service. Now, let's see if the people of Amor missed me. No. No, they did not. They're like, who are you again? <laughs> Why are you here? Just, just your three friends. They missed you. Hey, boys. Welcome back. Glad to be back. Thanks again. You saved the world, you know? Ho ho ho, you know who to call when the world needs saving again. Come to Amor any time. We'll do some training together. If you can keep up. <laughs> Farewell. Uh, now it's time to... Oh, now it's off to Saronia to drop off King Alice. Yes, we have come back. I wonder if they missed me there too. I'm sure they did. You are their king, after all. Thank you for your help, Prince. I mean, King Alice. No, it is I who must thank you. It is the power of light within you that has saved the world. Thank you, warriors of the light. I will strive to be as strong as you in serving my people. Thank you, and farewell. Bye! Bye! And what, we're in the Nautilus now? What happened to the Invincible? We decided it was too slow. Did we give it back to Sid? Well, not back. Did we give it to Sid? That thing is ours. I earned that. Oh, back to the floating continent. To drop off everybody else. We're almost at Canaan. Oh, are we now? Mrs. Sid must be worried about me. I'm getting off here, too. Good, that'll save us some time. Are you going to Canaan, Dash? Well, I have some unfinished business, if you know what I mean. <gasps> There's a girl there. What? You guys already forgot about the girl? I have to see Selena. Oh, so you finally come to your senses. Oh, stop it. You're embarrassing me. Uh, it's uncomfortable when people are in love. So we've made it to the floating continent to drop off Dash. Come on. Yes. Just put him right there. We, did, we probably did not need to see the entire trip back, but that's just me. We could speed this up just a little bit. I've missed you so. How long were we gone? Oh my, Sid, stop it. People are watching. Selena. Dash, you're back. Promise me you won't leave ever again. I promise. 
<sighs> we can't be outdone by those youngins, can we? Sid, stop! I say, oh, Sid, must you be so inappropriate? He's just standing there. <laughs> oh, sorry, got carried away there. I guess I did too. Hey, don't forget to come get me if you're going adventuring again. You're not going anywhere, Dash. Damn. Already. Looks like you're not getting out of this one, Dash. Yeah, yeah. Come visit us anytime. Here, you have to sample Mrs. Sid's dinner special. I don't like the sound of that, actually. Thank you, but I have to go see my father first, and I have to train to be a good smith. It's the least I can do to thank him for raising me, you know? Good. I'm sure Taka will be happy to hear that. Give my give my regards, yeah. Sid, Dash, we'll see you soon. My lady, let us return to castle so soon. No, I don't want to go back so soon. My lady, why? Men are so obtuse. Must I say it plainly? I want to stay with you a bit longer. There. What? Don't look so surprised. Come, let us visit Kazus and Ur first. As you wish, my lady. I will stay by your side until the end of time. Hooray! Everybody's getting together! That's what we set out to do from the beginning, right? Get everybody laid. Looking at you, Melvin. Abel. You guys are best friends. Chop chop. It's her! We're home! Come on, don't just stand there. Welcome home. Abel, you've come back. To Papa. Mom, we we did it. I knew you had it in you. You've done well. I'm proud of you. I, I fought too. Yeah, and you did great. Welcome back! Thank you for saving the world! I mean... Items! Something good! The heroes are back! The warriors of the light are real! Here, let me kiss you! Oh no you don't! Sorry, dancing girl. You do not get to kiss the sacrament. The world was saved from the darkness. The light within you saved us all. Thank you, warriors of the light! Oh! What? The light! It's so bright! The crystals, they're back! It's beautiful! The darkness has gone, and a new dawn has come to the world. And that's the game. Credits, feel free to, to roll any time now. Seriously, what's going on here? There we go. <laughs> okay, apparently it was... There, there's the credits. There we go. Abel, level 57. Novin, level 57. Bloom, level 57. Sackman, level 57. They are our champions! Nobody cares about anybody else. Princess Sarah, Sid, Dash, Dash... He even knows. He's like, I'm just gonna go here. Priestess Arya! King Alice. The four old men. Doga. Unai and Parrot. Really? The Parrot must make a, must make a roll, too? 
Oh, so that is definitely the game. I hope you guys have enjoyed this entire Let's Play as much as I had fun making it. It is, uh, how do I say, it's a good game, Final Fantasy 3, but it's probably my least favorite of all the Final Fantasies, and probably they're, you know, I don't want to say I'm right, but there's probably a reason why it took so long to get Final Fantasy 3 onto onto the shores here in America. It's It just doesn't stand up to, to some of the later games. What the hell was that? Um, the, the, you know, the later games in the series are really where the series starts to pick up, but, you know, between 1 and... Even 1 and 2, I thought, were better. I just... I, I was not a fan of the, the job leveling system in this game, especially with how many jobs they gave you. Even if you only wanted, let's say, one white mage, there were three or four different white mage job classes that you had to level up individually as the time went on and it forced you to, to do job level grinding throughout the game and it, it just was not that fun to go through. Outside of that, um, you know, the plot, it was good, it's not great, it's pretty basic. Um, then all of a sudden they just kind of throw a twist in there with the cloud of darkness that seemed to come out of nowhere. The, that whole series of events after Zandi kind of seem rushed. You know what I mean? It's just like all of a sudden we hear about this cloud of darkness that nobody had ever mentioned before in the game and now we have to fight uh, we have to get to the dark crystals when we didn't know that there were dark crystals in the game. You know what I mean? It's just just seemed to, to come out of nowhere and all of a sudden our, our whole objectives changed in order to save the world and I've never really be, uh, been a fan of that. And as we go through all the, the bosses that we that we fought along the way. Oh. Credits over already? That was the fastest credits ever. So overall I'd probably give the game probably about a, a 7 or an 8 out of 10. It's fun but you have to expect to go through it very quickly. Uh, well, not, not very quickly. You have to go through job leveling and all that kind of stuff. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play. Uh, there, there is some, uh, there is some bonus content that I will be doing. So no, I'm not going to be saving this data right now. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play. I hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. And Final Fantasy 4 and the bonus videos for Final Fantasy 3 that will be coming out first. Thanks for watching.